On a group for ATR pilots on Facebook, the following message came up. Hi there! Looking at the max cruise numbers in the 72500 QRH, I noticed that the heavier the airplane is, the lower the fuel burn is. Can someone explain that? That's a very good question. So, let's check it out. Hello aviators, my name is Magnar Nordahl, I'm an ATA captain and instructor. In this video, we will look at some numbers that at first glance appear to be incorrect. When checking the fuel consumption for an ATA-72, it appears that the heavier the airplane is, the lower the fuel burn. Is that really true? Or do we miss something here? Let's start with the basics. Standard cruise power for ATR aircraft is called max cruise and is measured in torque. The limiting factor is engine temperature, which depends on pressure altitude and atmospheric temperature. The torque is calculated by the Flight Data Acquisition Unit FDAU, and is displayed on the torque indicator with this amber bug. It is called the FDAU target or the torque objective. In ATR-42-300 and 320, the pilot must adjust the power levers to match engine torque with the amber bug. All other ATR variants have engine electronic control, EEC. When the power levers are in the notch, that's the position marked with this white line, the engine torque is automatically adjusted to follow the amber bug. And this reduces the workload for the pilots. Cruise performance is calculated with max cruise at the center of gravity at 25% MAC. The numbers in the quick reference handbook, QRH, are very accurate, as long as the aircraft is clean and the engines are not too old. To compare the data for a low weight with a high weight, I will select flight level 180 or 18,000 feet and standard atmospheric conditions which means the air temperature is minus 21 degrees Celsius. At a weight of 15 tons, the fuel consumption is 363 kilograms per hour per engine. That means the total fuel consumption is 726 kilos per hour. At maximum takeoff weight, 23 tons, the fuel consumption is 359 kilos per hour per engine, or 718 kilos per hour in total. At first glance, it doesn't look logical, but there is a reason for this. A light aircraft has a higher cruise speed than a heavy aircraft, right? At 15 tons, the true airspeed is 284 knots, while at 23 tons, the true airspeed is 271 knots. The power on the engine depends on how much air is flowing through the engine. The higher the speed, the more air is forced into the engine air intake. This is called ram effect. At 15 tons and a true airspeed of 284 knots, engine torque is 75.3%. At 23 tons and through airspeed 271 knots, the engine torque is 74.1%. As you can see, the engine torque increases with the speed. And this explains why the fuel consumption per hour is higher when the aircraft is light. But what really matters is the fuel consumption for a given distance. At 15 tons, the speed is 284 knots which means you are traveling 284 nautical miles per hour. At that time, you burn 726 kilos of fuel. That gives 2.56 kilo fuel per nautical mile. At 23 tons, the speed is 271 knots, and the fuel consumption is 718 kilos per hour. That gives 2.65 kilos fuel per nautical mile. In other words, 
the fuel consumption per nautical mile increases when the weight increases. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, that's all for this time. If you have any questions about aircraft performance or other aviation related topics, please let me know in the comment section below here. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and happy landing!